Hello, good morning, students. Uh, today we are going to learn the articles, which is the first part of English syllabus in MSBT textbook, right? So first of all, uh, as we all know that there are three types of articles in English language, and we are going to understand in detail what are these three articles and how we can use them in a sentences, right? So जैसे ही MSBT का जो syllabus है, उसमें हमें एक topic दिया गया है. उस टॉपिक के ऊपर आज मैं ये वीडियो इसीलिए बना रहा हूँ कि कोरोना की वजह से जो फिजिकल क्लासेस होल्ड है तो यहाँ पे फिजिकल क्लासेस नहीं हो रहे तो आप लोगों को कोई चीज़ समझ में आने के लिए ये आर्टिकल का हम वीडियो लेक्चर आपको आपके लिए बना रहे तो सबसे पहले तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द आर्टिकल एंड देन हाउ कैन इट हाउ वी कैन यूज दैम इन अ सेंटेंसेस दीज आर दी टू इम्पॉर्टेंट टर्म्स विच वी वी आर गो ना अंडरस्टैंड थ्रू दिस लेक्चर द फर्स्ट वन इज एज वी ऑल नो दैट फर्स्ट यूनिट इन एम एस बी टी सिलेबस इज अप्लाइड ग्रामर एंड अप्लाइड ग्रामर सिंपली मीन्स वॉट इट इज नेसेसरी फॉर अस टू नो द यूज ऑफ द different grammatical parts in real life situation or when we want to make sentences so we must know how to use the article in the sentences so that is what the purpose behind uh, teaching this subject to all of you so general information about the article english language contains three articles they are uh, as under a an and the these are the three articles we have in the english language sometimes consider just two articles a and an both together consider one type and the is another type and this type is called definite article and indefinite article definite means the and indefinite article under this type a and an both the articles come sometimes consider four articles there is one another category that is zero article which means what sometimes we don't require any article in the sentence so in that condition the article is zero over there and that's why it is called zero article also various grammarian have controversial issues regarding this so there is a uh, you know conflict between grammarian whether there should be a zero article type in the english language grammar or not so that is not uh, our topic to discuss today we'll discuss that later on uh, are they easy to use no now article are one of the trickiest part of english for native as well as non native speakers of english language so it is one of the trickiest part so it means that it is quite difficult to use one must be conscious while using article so we have to pay conscious attention uh, while reading about the articles or listening uh, to any lecture which is going on and then understand exactly how to use them in the sentences only then it is possible for us to utilize all the articles in a correct manner while making sentences being the non native speakers we should follow certain rules and regulations so there are some rules for using articles and we must follow them only then it will be possible for us to use them in a correct way right so next one types of article as i told you there are two types of article definite article and indefinite article so let's see the definition of definite article definite articles is the the is the definite article in english language which means what specific particular familiar it has a variety of usage the tiger killed the dog the example in this sentence the article is used in the both the uh, both time in this sentence which indicates that the tiger killed the dog which means the tiger also known to a uh, person and the dog also he is talking about some specific tiger some specific dog so when we want to say something about some specific or particular or known thing in that case we use the article the right that is definite article second type of article is uh, indefinite article under this we have two categories a and an not specific not familiar i want to buy a laptop in this sentence a uh, article is used which means what i want to buy general any kind of laptop non not specific one right 
so this is how we can use a and and the article in a, in different sentences let's go ahead and try to understand more about this one must know countable nouns and uncountable nouns before using article it is very important to understand uh, what is countable noun and what is uncountable noun because article can be placed in front of the countable noun only and countable noun the definition of countable noun is very simple that is when we count something in terms of uh, one two three four or in a numerical way so that noun is considered as a countable noun as for example a table pen which we can count in one two in this numerical term and that's why they are countable noun uncountable noun is something which we cannot count in numerical terms like one two three four uh, milk one milk two milk we cannot count there is different measurement instrument for counting these things that's why they these noun are considered as uncountable so article indefinite article can be used only before countable noun so that is one rule we must keep always in our mind indefinite article a and an can be used in front of the countable noun only but the definite article the can be used in front of both the nouns countable as well as uncountable countable noun means the nouns that can be counted in the form of one two three four five examples boy girl phone file key window etc uncountable noun means the nouns that cannot be counted in the form of one two three four five examples beauty happiness touch wisdom revy so you understood very well what is countable and what is uncountable usage indefinite article can be used before countable nouns only I just before few minutes i told you that and definite articles can be used before countable as well as uncountable noun note the use of articles depend upon the context so let's see what are the different contexts for using article the indefinite articles can be used before a noun in the following cases a and an are used in the numerical sense of one the examples are given as under she owns a dozen of the textile companies an honest employee is an asset for any organization the production of the touch screen cellular phones will begin in a week so in these three sentences a an and a is used as a numerical sense of one for example if i want a pen from you right so i will request you please give me a pen so here i am using article a which means that one right so a and an article can be used as a one right so which indicates one right so that is uh, first understanding or rules about the article second one they are used to point out an unfamiliar person animal place or thing the following are the examples of this kind a maintenance engineer will have a visit to the section we have seen an eagle in the zoo so uh, when we want to speak about something which is unfamiliar to us or unknown to us so before talking about that person we use person or place article a or an which means what that the thing which we are speaking about is not specific right when there is a specific or known or familiar in that case we have the another option uh, that is the article can be used in front of that but in this case we cannot use the instead of that we are using a and an because we are not talking about any specific eagle here or any specific maintenance engineer but in general term we are using these two names and before that we are placing uh, indefinite article right so this is one Uh, they are sometimes used to change a proper noun into a common noun see the following example sometimes we use an article to uh, change the proper noun which means a specific noun which is given to some specific person when we want to change that proper noun into common noun at that condition in that condition we use the article a or an here is an example of this the world needs a shakespeare to create interest in writing quality literature he is a valmiki of present era we need an ashoka to teach the lesson of peace love and duty so in these three name these three are proper noun right 
but before that we are placing article but before placing an article indefinite article a and n we are making this proper noun as a common noun right so this is how we can use article when we want to transform any proper noun to common noun next one a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant now this is very important rule so we use the article a and an before a proper noun or before any countable noun but we have to keep in mind the word whichever is there for example there is a word boy so boy it consists three letters b o y right so b is a consonant sound and there are five vowels in english that is a e i o u if uh, before using an article in front of any countable noun we have to take into consideration the first letter of that word and if the first first letter is a consonant sound then we have to place the article a and if the first letter is a vowel sound we have to place the article n for example in this word a boy uh, a boy the b is the consonant that's why uh, but if i want to say apple then i have to place an apple because the apple first letter is a and that is vowel sound so the rule is very simple when uh, we are using a article in front of any noun countable noun we have to see carefully whether the letter is consonant or vowel if the letter is consonant then we have to use a and if the first letter of that noun is vowel then we have to use an that is very simple an plus singular noun beginning with a vowel niche example diya hai an elephant an eggs an apple an idiot an orphan a plus singular noun beginning with a consonant sound a user uh, use sound like user begins with a consonant y sound so is used university unicycle okay this is exception to the rules or it is not depend on the sound uh, letter of the word but it depends on the sound of the word how that sound is pronounced now the rule says that when there is a consonant letter first in any noun before that we have to place a and if there is a vowel letter uh, in front of the noun then we have to use what an but uh, apart from that there are certain situations where these rules uh, not functions properly and that situations are for example if i want to say honest right so honest this word consists the first letter h and which is a consonant but i cannot say he is a honest man instead of that i have to say he is an honest man why because h is silent in this word right and that's why we pronounce that honest word from the o and o in front of o vowel sound we have to use an article right so this is how we have to keep in mind certain things then it will be very easy for all of us to understand exactly how to use article in different situations remember that this rules also applies when we use acronyms introductory composition at uh, purdue handles first year writing at the university therefore an icap memo generally discuss issues concerning english 106 instructions okay forget about this next we will go ahead if the noun is modified by an adjective the choice between a and an depends on the initial sound of the adjective that immediately follows the articles for example now here in this sentence number 1 you can see broken egg okay egg is a noun and broken is adjective but this adjective is modifying the noun right and uh, in this condition whatever adjective is there and what is the first letter of that adjective according to that we have to place article a or an if the uh, first letter of that adjective modified adjective it is called is consonant then we have to use a and if it is a vowel then we have to use an you can see in the second sentence an unusual problem a european country here european means it's not uh, it sounds like u and u start with y and that's why it depends on the how we pronounce and not what letter is seven number remember too that in english the indefinite articles are used to indicate membership in a group okay so when we want to talk about membership in a group then we use article a 
I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. So I am a teacher of a large group known as teacher. So when we talk about membership, we can use article A. Brain is an Irish man. When we also speak about nationality, and if the first letter of that nationality is vowel sound, then we use an. Otherwise, we can use a article. Siako is a practicing Buddhist. Okay, practicing Buddhist. So this is how we can use article a and uh, in front of the different nouns, right? Difference between a and an. Articles a and an are used on the basis of the sound of the word and not their spelling. Usually a is used before the consonant sound and an is used before a vowel sound. It depends upon the pronunciation of the word. The following are the instances. The indefinite article a is used before a word which begins with a consonant sound. For example, a ball, a flower, a canteen, a pen, a laptop, a ring, a calendar, a book, a table. The following examples carry the article a though they start with a vowel but they have a consonant sound. For example, a university, a union, a uniform, a unit, a one rupee coin, a useful instrument. Uh, here, even though the word, the first letter of the word university is U and that is vowel, vowel sound, but still we are using A article, which is as per the rule we have to use in front of the uh, consonant sound. Here is an exception to the rules because I, as I told you that it not depends on the first letter of the noun, but it depends on the how we pronounce that noun. So here university can be pronounced like as U. So you, this word start with the first letter Y and that's why a university, a union, okay? So we have to keep this in mind. The indefinite, indefinite articles and is used before the word which begins with a vowel and vowel sound. Example, an umbrella, an opportunity, an elephant, an animal, an import, an all. The following examples carry the article and Though they start with the consonant, but they have a vowel sound, right? Examples, an honest man, an R, an honorable priest, an MLA, an FIR. Thus, the correct choice of the articles A and AN depends on the initial sounds of a word, but not on the initial letter of the word that they precede. Okay, so rule is clear. Usage of definite article the. To speak of something or some, some someone already referred to. The first use of article, definite article, the, the first use is when we are referring something uh, which we are referring double, right? The girl who came to see my house or see me was my sister. The girl which is known to me. He delivered the speech on socialism. The specific speech, right? My grandfather told us the interesting story the interesting which means that i already must have heard somewhere right second rule to talk about a specific or a particular person or thing did they like the book the means specific which i know right we have to move towards the forest the forest means not general forest but one specific forest the fellow is impressive one not any other fellow but the one which i already know my parents come to meet me at the hostel. The hostel means where I lived, I am known with that hostel, right? Then next, usage of definite article, the continue. Before a comparative as an adverb. So when we want to uh, make a sentence in comparative degree, so before that, we use the article the to compare between two things or we want to cause effect show the cause effect relationship between two sentences the more we get the more we want the higher we go the cooler it becomes the harder you work the better it will be so when we want to uh, show the cause effect relationship by using comparative sentences in that case we use the the article in both the sentences right to emphasize a noun when it is required. It can be used if you want to give stress on the noun in the sentence. So in that case also, we use the article, definite article the. See in this sentence, she is the woman who can solve it properly. So she is the woman. The woman here, uh, the writer want to show that 
the woman has that ability the stress is on the word woman he is the hero of today's program william shakespeare was the dramatist of his time this is the method to implement now so this is how we can go ahead usage of definite article the continued before the common nouns when they represent the total class it can be used before a common noun common noun means what boy girl dog and all that so when this common noun represent its entire category so before that the the article can be placed now look at this example the dog is a faithful animal the lion is the king of animal the rose smells sweet the whale is a kind mammal so in these four examples this dog lion rose and well they are representing their entire category so this kind of uh, when the word or common noun representing the entire category of category of their species in front of that the article can be used note the definite article the is not used before man and woman when they represent the whole class but there is a exception when you want to represent man or talk about human being in front of the uh, name may man or woman uh, you cannot place the article in front of this man and woman before an adjective which represents a whole class but in such a cases the noun is understood okay the article which represents some class of the society right the rich should help the poor here the rich is a class and the poor is another class so when they represent group of people rich group of people in front of that adjective it is a not noun but it is adjective so in front of that the article can be used so next one usage of definite article continue when one refers to scriptures or classical books the gita the quran the ramayana the bible when we speak about these holy books of different religion to pay respect to all these scriptures we place the article the in front of these uh, all the books to refer to the name of the newspaper and journals the times of india the economic times the illustrated weekly of india and the nine number to refer the names of mountains peaks hills rivers canals glaciers group of islands oceans seas straits and bay the himalaya the nile the pacific ocean the philippines the bay of bengal usage of definite article the continue 10 number before the superlative and words used in the superlative sense the best candidate in the troop the prime minister the chief general to refer to the 11 number to refer to the imaginary geographical lines the equator the tropic of cancer the latitude and 12 number before the unique common noun but they do not start with the capital letters the earth the sun the sky the world the east these are the unique common noun there is no comparison or there is none nothing other uh, this type of noun exist in the world 13 number before some proper nouns being the names of certain geographical regions the U united Kim kingdom the jammu and kashmir the deccan plateau next one usage of definite article the is continued 14 number before the united nations organizations and its part the you know the ilo the international court the general assembly and 15 number now before nationalities races communities people organizations movements political parties historical events the indians the indian national congress the second world war these are the examples and now 16 number before the musical instrument the flute and the piano and this is the exercise which has been provided by msbt at the end of the uh, this uh, session or this uh, topic so in this exercise there are 20 sentences now you have to place the correct article in front of the or you have to fill in the blank the correct article so we will conduct one test on this and this is the first lesson we had about the how to use article in different sentences while using them how to avoid mistakes which normally many people or many students do while using it because it is one of the trickiest part of 
English grammar. So pay careful attention and watch this video again and again until you get clear uh, clear idea about how to use uh, definite and indefinite article in different sentences. So this is for the day. Thank you so much for listening to me. And this is the first lesson for all the Nausayadri students. Now we will make video on the second lesson that is preposition. Till then watch this video again and again and there will be Google form test for you on the this particular lesson. So prepare well in advance about how to use articles by reading textbook and watching this video again and again and get good marks in the online test which is going to be held very soon. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot.